incredibly, whilst that was happening, I thought of another motorised Olympic sport, and it's called human tent pin bowling. Now, if you look down here, you will see the pins, which I've just made on a lathe out the back, being set up. There they are, exactly like you'd expect in a skittle or bowling alley. Now, we're going to bring out the ball. Here it is. That's really shopping trolley. It is. Very good. It wow. is. <laughs> and of course, if you have a bowl and you have some skittles, you need a bowler. So you do. Bring out the bowler. Right, good. Now, that is... <laughs> That's the, uh, the golf cart. It's an electric golf cart. Now, we need uh, somebody to go into be the ball, sit in the shopping trolley. Yes. Sadly, I can't do that because I'm too tall. Too fat. Yes, too fat. And the reason I'm too fat uh, is because I had a Big Mac for lunch. You, sadly, had water and salad. So you, <laughs> as a punishment for eating green food... No you way! Go in. Yes. yes. In you get. Come in on. you get. In, in. I hate you guys. Come yeah. on. I'm Listen. going to be the bowler in the golf cart. Yes. I'm going to see how many we can knock down. Put that on. Put this on. It's only okay. really a precaution. So, right. so we can find your head more easily. Oh. <laughs> um, now let me just talk you through a few very basic controls you have yes. here inside the shopping trolley. Okay. Are you comfortable with all that? Uh, I'm not sure. It's no? Probably. Okay. Yes. A little bit. This oh, is the door. Door. Martin Bjorn as a bowling ball. I'm looking forward to it. Right, here we go. Do I have to do this? Yes, yes. you do. Yes. Okay. For eating salad. It. Three. Come on. Two. Do it. One. Yes. Bowl. I'm ready. Hey, hey, hey. What's that? That's not the fucking electrical car. Yes, it is. Oh. 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 It's a strike. <laughs> Wait, he hasn't got the one in his pocket. Thank you, please. I need to get the approval for the local list, man. Let's go over here, man. Let's see if you're here. What's he on there? Who lives on it? You're fucking... Dad, he's so obviously so pleased, he started swearing in English. He's so happy with this. Now listen, we're going to... God, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you so bad. I got muddled, okay, because they look quite similar. Anyway, we're now going to move on to something that... I'm not out!
They are quite good. They're a bit pricey. Yeah, 350,000 yeah. kroner. That's, that's in it. England, if you see what I mean. But very um, good, nevertheless. Anyway, it's time for another game. Yes. I, yes. I'm sure you good people of Sweden are very familiar with the traditional British fairground game of Splat the Rat. I'm not sure they'll have a clue what you're on about. I'm not sure either, but I think they'll get it quite quickly because it's not actually very complicated. Uh, we were wondering, could you play it with cars? And yes, we think you could. Okay, so coming out onto the arena floor now are the rats. They're not actually rats, they're radio controlled cars dressed up to look like mice for some reason. Uh, but anyway, the idea is per perfectly straightforward. We see how many of these rats we can run over, i.e. splat, in cars in three minutes, okay? okay? Now you, Martin, I believe, have sourced the cars. Yes, I have done that. So please, give it up for the sauce. Oh, Jeremy and I have made a film for Top Gear about Saab, but it's rather sad demise because... Am I the only one who had a Saab? No, the others have probably broken down. Uh, I'm sure some more Saabs will be out, but actually Jeremy and I were genuinely, I'm not just saying this now because we're in Sweden, we were genuinely very saddened by the fate of Saab because we've always liked them, we've always wished we had one, and in Britain they have a very, very special place and they're driven by very, very special people and you never get hooligans in them, do no, you? No, nobody has ever said in all of human history, look at that maniac in that Saab! <laughs> it just doesn't happen. Every other car you care to mention, somewhere or other, even a Citroen 2CV will have had a lunatic in it, but not a Saab. And they're incredible things. They came up with fabulous innovations and fantastic safety features, which we pointed out you only really discovered once you had a crash. It wasn't obvious stuff like sticky out bumpers. It was things like the roof is so strong you can drop it on its roof. We did this for real. For two and a half metres up, upside down, and we dropped it onto concrete. And you happened? could still open the door. Now, we did this with a BMW, yep. and the roof was completely flat. It was unbelievable. It's very, very sad, and we hope that one day Saab is rescued by whoever the Chinese, the Indians, and comes back. Um, now we're obviously blabbering on because yes, uh, there is no cop. Can you two can get in and get cracking and I'll join in if you like. Well, you oh, with you can get in and I'll get by a midget. Yeah. Uh, you guys have your parking just on with you, otherwise... Oh, what? Oh, you got parking tickets. Parking just on. No, 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 then what is... On the clock. In three, two, one, no, I'm going. I'm off already, I've no more time to lose. This is a white one, and it's blood dark. Oh, you got it in You got it in the corner. I may have crashed this straight to absolutely have it. Let's go on that one. one. Right, come on, Brad. Come on, Mouse. 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 Die, Mouse. Die, Mouse. Oh no, I've accidentally spliced it in turn. Oh no! 
you're going to see a man being run over by a Dodge Viper. And either way, I think that is a memory you can take home and treasure. <laughs> you were so awful. So let's have a bit of quiet for this of the finale. You ready? Are you ready? No point asking the stick. You don't really wait on this. So, in three, two, one, go.